This screencast is really here to try and show you how you can um, use a script in Google um, Forms uh, which can actually assess, uh, mark a uh, quiz for you, uh, which is really, really helpful, particularly in the classroom. Um, I've done a fun uh, quiz, uh, music quiz, uh, using Google Forms, set up uh, as you can see here. Uh, if you're not um, au fait with how to set up a Google Form so that you can run uh, an online um, survey, um, please acquaint yourself with it. Um, if, if needs be, let me know and I can make a little screencast on how you do that and that's not a problem uh, for me to do that. But for the um, purposes of this screencast, I'm assuming that you can already do that. So the first thing you want to do is set up your form and you'll need to make sure that your main questions are set up with multiple choice questions. Okay, um, give it a skin so it looks however you want it to look, so forth and so on. Okay, and then what you've got to do is basically uh, go through to your um, music quiz in this view here, and you have to add a script on uh, called Flubaroo. So you go to Insert and Script and search for Flubaroo. Uh, if you search for flu or flube or flu or whatever, it won't find it, so you need to type in the full name there. So type in Flubaroo, hit search, and there it is. And you're going to install that onto this particular sheet. Okay? Uh, it takes a few moments to do that. And once it's done that, you'll notice that it will put an extra um, menu on the end of your list of menus. Just uh, authorise that, you can now run the script, happy days, close that, and Flubaroo's on the end. Okay, now, you'll want to get to grade yourself, but you can't do that until you've actually uh, put the set of correct answers in already yourself. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, so, uh, my name is Mark, and I know that it was Bananarama. Quite funny if it had been Daft Punk. Um, speaking of Daft Punk, uh, Tron was the film and I believe that was Cliff Richards. So uh, submit that. Okay, very good. Now in order for you to actually um, run the actual Flubaroo as well, you have to have already actually run the quiz. I'm going to put a few uh, makeshift ones in like so, so you can actually see how it works. Submit that. Uh, do that again. Let's put in uh, Sean. Let's give John those answers. And let's just do one more person. Okay, so now we go back into here, we can see that those four people have entered their uh, responses into the survey. Four people, happy days. Flubaroo, then grade assignment. And the first thing that I want to find out from you on here is that um, these different parts here require uh, different grading options. So the first one identifies the student's name and then the scores that the other ones are worth. And you can obviously change that like so. Continue that and you then need to tell Flubaroo um, which of these is the answer key and I set that as Mark, the first one. We know that Mark's uh, responses are all correct. So we go to continue and then Flubaroo just grades your assignments and it tells you uh, what people's scores were. Click on view grades, it's all done and we can see that the winner was Jane with two uh, with a score of 66.66% those are the answers and she got Love in the First Degree and Mistletoe and Wine. Sorry, Daft Punk and Mistletoe and Wine correct there, giving her her total. It shows your distribution of correct answers as well across your group, who got which ones right, so forth and so on, how many points were gained, so forth and so on. So you, also, you get in the grades, but you're getting some idea about areas where uh, knowledge is within the actual uh, group who have completed your quiz. And you can use that in any subject area. Really quick, really powerful, saves a lot of marking, very, very handy indeed. Thank you very much. Flu Baroo.